So this is interesting. So I got the new lights. What do we think of this set? I can put my arms out. I can touch the lens. This is so wide. That is crazy. Hey everybody, Resident Loser Jeremy here. I wanted to give a quick update. The studio is going to be going through some changes. I'm figuring out exactly what those are. There was water damage at the studio. For those of you who don't know, we had a water leak. It damaged a lot of the floor on, thankfully not the music side of the studio it was mostly the lounge, but it's given me a chance to kind of look at everything and see if there were changes that I was gonna to make to the studio anyway. Now's the time to kind of do them. I get to kind of rethink the things 10 years ago that I didn't have the chance to do, and now I can. So I'm really excited. There are gonna be some changes, and I'm kind of curious. If you were getting to redo your studio, would you try to maximize the space that you record in the live room or the control room. Here's my thought. The control room, I'm familiar with it. I know it in and out. I can mix in that room and I know what the mixes sound like. So changing the control room makes me nervous. Changing the live room lets me do a whole lot of different things. I can track different kinds of bands. I can track bands spread further apart. I can continue to do choirs without feeling like we're cramped and sitting on top of each other. I can get even larger drum sounds out of this space, which for the size of my room, I already get some pretty decently large drum tracks and I'm really excited about that possibility. The proposed space will be about three times as large as it is now. I'll go to my studio tour where I outline the live room Room, I talk about the lounge. Basically what would be happening is I would be expanding the live room currently into that lounge by knocking down this back wall and the hallway and the wall on the other side of that. <laughs> so if you guys would be interested in seeing stuff like that, let me know. I can do a studio build video series. But if you wanna go through the process of figuring things out with me, I'm happy to do that. Most of this is gonna be DIY, probably all of it, unless there's a very special job that needs to happen. And I can document as much of that as I can, if that's something you guys wanna see. So I just wanted to really quick give that update because there's gonna be a lot of things happening around here. If my content shifts to a very studio build heavy channel for a while, that's why, because there was damage and I have to fix it. Not necessarily because I'm just changing things to change things. But hey, if I have to fix something anyway, I may as well make it the way I want, right? Anyway, guys, thanks. Just a real quick update from me. I'll see you later. Oh, I can't even cover the thing anymore.